I've always been interested in genetics. That interest began with having some family friends who had genetic disorders when I was growing up. That was the first time I was really exposed to the idea of DNA or the idea of genetics was through the context of disease. I really enjoy the scientific inquiry as well, the process of coming up with a hypothesis, the process of thinking of creative ways to test different hypotheses. But in the end, I'm really drawn to research because I feel that it's instrumental to moving forward in a lot of fields of medicine. In the lab, what they do is they find children who have heart conditions, and then they take their DNA, are able to sequence their genes, and look for defects in these genes. But even when you find a gene that has a mistake in it, you don't know for sure if that is what is actually causing the heart condition. What I was able to do in the lab is take frogs and eliminate the function of different genes in these frogs. And these were genes that had been identified in patients. And then look at the hearts of the frogs to see if they were abnormal. And I actually found that on one of the genes I was working on, when I eliminated the function of that or knocked out that gene, the, the frogs had a lot of abnormal heart conditions. It was really puzzles that we were working with, um, things that no one had ever tried to figure out before. Kids who are born with congenital heart defects, usually there's no indication of why they have a congenital heart defect. And so this was really, everything I was doing every day was groundbreaking in a way because no one had ever looked at these specific genes to see if they were actually related to heart development. 